All right, let's get back into vacant now. This is we're gonna start on offense for our nades. Um, a lot of very common grenade thrown is directly out of the gate. We're gonna run up the stairs. We're gonna cook it at the top of the stairs and then throw it directly through both doors. This one's gonna land directly on the other side for the rushers who like to use extreme conditioning or dead silence. Um, a lot of people do escape this grenade and make it through bathrooms. So um, that that one's especially good for the ones who wanna stop there and look down through um, the other spawn or maybe make a left or start pre-firing. That's a really good name for the pre-fires. Um, again, this one does sometimes miss the ones who like to rush directly through into bathrooms. So be aware of that. All right, so instead of rushing up the stairs, we're gonna make a right. We're gonna cook their grenade here, hold it, throw it all the way down, and again, it's another alternative to hitting those rushers, the ones who like to stay there pre-fire, um, the ones who are late especially. It's a really good grenade. Um, these these different routes are good for, you know, a lot of people like to use the same routes. A lot of people like to throw the same grenades. So finding a way to throw the same grenade but not doing the same route is pretty essential to search and destroy, especially when there's a full man of six people. So just being aware of that, um, having another route to be able to throw the same grenade is pretty essential as well, I think, in my opinion. Um, it, it is definitely frustrating when you try and run a certain route and you have someone stop in front of you or stops in front of the door or just, just you know, whatever, maybe stops and changes their classes. You know, it happens to everybody. All right, so the first nade on defense, the infamous car bomb. Um, we are going to be cooking it directly through the door, right, hucking it over, and this will hit directly at that car bomb. Um, the only issue with this grenade, guys, is that usually... It's a very popular grenade, so a lot of the times there's going to be like three or four different people trying to throw this. Now, obviously, the first person to get it through the car bomb is going to have the most success. The only issue with this is that when there's three or four different people trying to throw the same grenade, you're going to have people bumping you. You, you might throw it off someone's noggin. Um, it might land back in your lap and you might kill yourself. There's multiple th issues with throwing this grenade because I don't know if you've seen it before but sometimes the whole team likes to stand right here and throw grenades so it gets kind of um it gets kind of claustrophobic so if you see a lot of people throwing this grenade after the first round i suggest just finding a different route to go um another way you guys can run through is hopping over here as soon as you get to the barrels right here cook the grenade walk down to the hallway and then toss it through this one's going to land directly in people's pockets who like to rush through uh, the left side up the stairs or right on top of this dumpster when they jump through really good grenade clears out the rush and also allows you to continue your rush from defense all right so if these first two don't work out whether it's because too many people are throwing it uh, people keep stopping in front of you changing classes forget all this come to the right side come to the end of the hangar we're gonna look up over into the sky we're gonna toss this grenade over to the front of the stairs on the offensive spawn and we're gonna blow up this car bomb this is really good for, again, people who like to sit over here, pre-aim this, pre-fire. A lot of people like to just sit here and do whatever they want to do. But this is a really useful car bomb to get a bunch of reads, to get a bunch of grenade kills. Even if you get a hit marker, it still gives you the read on, on who's over here, um, just for awareness and, and just kind of figuring out how to uh, you know play against the enemy team. Next, instead of running right, we're going to be running left. Um, there's two different ways we're going to throw this. One for the ones who like to run through the middle like I showed you. And the second one, we're going to be throwing it a little bit deeper on the nade. Hold on, let me change classes to get some more grenade. The next one's going to be going through all the way through the stairs. We're going to give it a little jump. We're going to throw it a little bit further. And this one's going to land right back over here. So again, very useful grenade. Um, really good for people who are leaving a spawn late, who are sitting back there doing whatever they want to do. Um, really, really good grenade. So try it out. Let me know how, if it works. Let me know what you guys think about it. And we'll be moving on to the next one. All right, guys, this is a grenade that never is ever, ever used in Search and Destroy. Not, not very rare, very rarely do people use this grenade. But this is basically the opposite of throwing it from what I just showed you. This one's going to land on this side for people who like to sit here, for people who like to run through. 
Um, if you guys want to run, you know, if you guys want to rush left but still want to throw a grenade right, you guys can do this. But uh, it's a really solid grenade that people don't really utilize on this map. I don't know if people even know about it, but you guys saw it here. Uh, really good for people who like to rush through to the bathrooms, who like to sit back here and pre-fire, who like to just do whatever they want to do in this way. But if you guys need to go into a private lobby like I am now and practice it, do it. Um, it's a really good, useful grenade. So next, we're going to be going to offense. Uh, we're going to be running up here. We're going to be cooking it and throwing it through the hallway. This one's good for ones who like to rush through the hallway directly where, obviously, from defense. Uh, this line's right in front for ones who like to rush through the bathrooms or even from the ones who like to rush from bathrooms into the hallway. So really good, useful grenade. Let's go on a switch. All right, this grenade is also something that's not really used often. Uh, we're gonna go and throw this over the building. And if we do it right, this one's gonna land directly in front of the doorway. Now this one will counter rushes who like, like I've shown you, like to rush through here and toss grenades through the door. Um, there's a lot of people who like to rush through the door and like to sit there, like to stop there, change their classes. It's a really good one for people who like to rush directly through the middle of the hangar. But either way, this is a really, really solid grenade to counter those rushers. Not just that, but if you're with a team of six or even three or four, whatever it may be, it's an easy pickup with um, a pre-fire or a single bullet. Uh, next, we're going to be rushing to the right side this time. Um, another route, obviously. So if people are rushing up the stairs or rushing to the right side, Another way to get through to a prenade without having to have someone knock you left or right or, or get in front of you. Um, coming to the right side. So instead of coming up the stairs, we're going to head to the right. We're going to hop up the, uh, the dumpster and we're going to throw a grenade all the way at the end of the hallway. Same thing. This is for people who like to sit there, who like to rush. Uh, people who run late, getting different reads. Um, just another way to throw a different grenade on the map. Alright, so the last grenade that we're going to go over is... Um, the, the barrel head glitch grenade. Now this is for one, uh, every, there's always at least some person that is behind the head glitch, um, so whether it's your team or the, the enemy team. This one is really, really useful for people who, if it's a 1v1, if they're over here at the beginning of the round, a lot of people love to just go there and sit there for people who like to come through uh, the doorway by bathrooms. Um, either way, if it's a 1v1 situation right now and you have the bomb and, and they're in there waiting just for you to pop out and you have an extra grenade, really solid place to go and throw a grenade. So get used to this one, go into a private lobby, practice it. Again, it's really, really useful. Um, good for two pieces, one pieces to close out a clutch. Uh, either way, you can also swap it and throw this one over here. Same thing for people who like to sit behind that wall and use the head glitch. Um, same scenario, same thing. Just uh, get your timing right, get your angle right, and it's a really good, um, really good way to close that around. So, this was a, a small little recap of Vacant. I hope it helped you guys out. If it did, make sure to drop a comment. Let me know if it did. Uh, drop a like on the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody.